make. The last point I want to make is that, yes, Tisha, by all means, I mean, take your time. You know, if you want to get concrete evidence before considering, you know, uh, separating from your husband or divorcing your husband or whatever, get your evidence. Nobody can tell you when to end your marriage. Nobody lives with you. Nobody is in your household with you. By all means, do what you need to do because only you know when you've had enough. You know, I was simply saying that, yes, what Mel said to Tisha, although other people said Marso was cheating, but it's a thing of womanhood. It's, it's a thing between women as friends. Mel said to Tisha that Marso was cheating. When Tisha asked Mel to give her some per pertinent information, uh, Mel simply told Tisha, oh, find out on your own. That would hurt any woman. Any woman would hold that. You know, yes, I'm sure Tisha tried to get over that. You know, I'm sure, you know, you know, she tried to put that behind her. But all of these allegations that came out about her husband after the fact, Tisha is going to associate these things with what Mel said. As if Mel started this trend. Even though we know she did not. As if Mel started this trend. Even though we know she did not. But if you're my friend and you're telling me that my husband is cheating and you're just going to leave me hanging to figure it out on my own when you claim you have concrete information. Really? You think that individual is going to trust you again? And that's with any woman. That is just not with Tisha. Okay? Tisha can blame Mel, although we know she should not. Okay, because Mel has nothing to do with her husband or her marriage. But if Tisha is looking for a scapegoat or an excuse, the number one excuse and scapegoat is going to be Mel. So when I commented and said the best thing Mel should do is give Tisha what she knows. To say to go to YouTube or Twitter, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. That is not concrete information. How are you going to tell somebody to go to YouTube or Twitter? I'm sure she already know what they have to say. But if you said you had concrete information, why wouldn't you give it to her? And I know that Mel said, because this is the first time I've heard that, that the girl has, you know, some type of, um, you know, some type of court order or something that they can't mention her name. Listen, tell it to her off a of camera. Rid yourself of this. This way she doesn't have no more excuses. She can't blame you for nothing. If you give her what you know, you're out of it. You're out of it now, but I'm just saying, if so, it's easier to have somebody else to blame. Especially if you don't want to deal with the situation on your own. You understand? So right now, Tisha is eluding the situation and blaming Mel. You understand? Even though there's been other accusations of him cheating, but she's going to associate them all as people in Mel's camp. Mel all as people in Mel's camp, Melamitas, or whoever. This is the ammunition that has been given to her. Although it's not, it may not be true. This is what she's going to utilize, what she has in her hands. So to avoid all of this, to avoid Mel being triggered every time by Tisha, hey, release what you have to her, and that's it, and it's over with. You know what I'm saying? But if Mel is protecting somebody, or because, I mean, it was said that the producers knew that he cheated, and they said they were not going to bring it to TV. That was already established. You know, Martell said that, and a couple of other people said that in the beginning. Now, if that's the case, fine. But Mel said it when she wasn't supposed to. 
they agreed that they would not bring it up. But they were so angry at each other, you know, when the show first started, her and Martell released it. So if you already put it back out, if you already put it out there, it's hard to retract it. And that's what happened. Her and Martell tried to clean it up. But there's no cleaning it up once it's out there. So they knew they agreed not to discuss it, but they did discuss it. So if you discussed it, go full-fledged with it. Go all the way out with it. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't take it back now because it's already out there. So I understand what they tried to do. I understand, you know, how Mel tried to stay out of it. But once you involved yourself in it by telling her her husband was cheating, I think you were obligated to give her the facts. To give her the facts and let her know the information that you know. Regardless to what everything else, everyone else is saying. You're her supposedly friend. You and her have a relationship. I think, you know, she feels like you're obligated to be on her team and let her know what you know. If you don't agree, I mean, you know, everybody don't have to agree with that. You know, some women may feel different about that. From my perspective, I would expect my friend, somebody that calls me their friend, to tell me everything they know, period, point blank. So again, yes, that is very hurtful for any woman, regardless to what everybody else is saying. It's different coming from somebody who you call a friend, okay? And so that's why this thing, that's why I was saying they have to get to the root of a thing. And the root of this issue, the root of the bitterness between uh, Tisha and Melody is that Melody told Letitia that Marceau was cheating earlier on and left her hanging. Everything that came after that, Letitia, looking for an excuse, is going to associate that back to what Mel, she feels in her head that Mel started. You can't move started. You can't move on from something if there's no closure. Whether it's a, you know, a friendship, a marriage, a girlfriend-boyfriend situation, you can't, you can't move on when you're trying to push things aside and under the rug. You can't move on from something unless you have all of which, you know, and sometimes you're never going to get closure, but, you know, I'm sure Tisha was around her, you know, trying to, um, you know, bypass and, you know, I'm sure she tried to forgive and forget, but once something else revved, revved up, once another allegation comes out, she's going to go right back to the initial thing and she's going to go right back to the initial thing that she thinks started it all. You know, she's going to think that the Melameters is following and making rumors and making up things because their leader, you know, in her, you know, from her perspective, Mel started the cheating rumor. So now nobody wants to see them together. You know, everybody wants to break up beautiful black couple, break up their marriage of 15 years. All kinds of things are going to be going in her head. Why? Because she's still left hanging. She's still not, she still never got over the initial thing of Mel telling her, her friend. And if it came from somebody else, she may not have believed it the way she did with Mel. Her and Mel were very close. Their families were very close. She probably feels if anybody knew, Mel knew. So that's why she took it to heart what Mel said. Coming from somebody else, she probably would have, you know, eluded it or ignored it. You know, but coming from Mel, because of the, you know, how intertwined their families were, it had some leverage to it. It had some, you know, meat on it. And, you know, she felt like it could have been so. You know, I don't know if she would have dwelled that much on it coming from somebody else. So that's the only reason why I said Mel should just clean her hands of it, tell Letitia what she knows. I know Mel said something about, you know, the girl has legal things, but there's ways around that. 
You know, nobody was concerned about, you know, Arion suing or anything. You know, they, they bought her out. No, they never said her name. But there is, there, there's ways, there's ways of doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the, I think that's the only thing, you know, with Mel coming clean with her that would start to heal um, their relationship. So that's the only reason why I, you know, said what I said about to bring closure to this situation that Mel needs to, you know, tell Tisha whatever she knows if she feels it, if she deems it important enough. Okay, and so that's why Tisha has, you know, in her ammunition, the authority she believes to say, you tried to destroy my marriage. You tried to destroy my marriage. All these years later, even though these accusations that's out now has nothing to do with Mel. But again, it's going to rev up the wound that was never healed. The initial womb is still open. Yes, yeah, she tried to put band-aids on it. She tried to cover it up. She tried to heal it. But in the back of her head, she believes what Mel said. Why? Because it came from Mel. It didn't come from somebody that doesn't know her husband. It didn't come from somebody who wasn't, you know, who somebody's wife who wasn't like a brother to her husband. If anybody knows the truth, she probably feels like Mel and Martel does. Most people do pillow talk. She knows that Martel probably told Mel some stuff. And that's that. So thanks again, guys. We could be here all day with this. You know, it is a very sensitive, uh, hot topic for women. And Carlos King knows that. That's why, you know, it's on TV, you know. But thanks again, guys, for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.